Hi, I'm Serge Sue and welcome to Max Studio 8. If you've been following along and finished watching part 1 in the last episode titled How to Reset Mac OS X Forgotten Password, you will know how easy it was for anyone to change a user's password in under 60 seconds. It's time for part 2, protect your investment, Mac Lockdown. Lock down your Mac more securely using a firmware encryption password. I won't go over as to the requirements for your Mac as this was already covered in part 1. Briefly, your Mac needs to have a recovery HD partition. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Now for the warning bit. To put it in simple terms, if you forget your firmware password, then basically you're up the creek without a paddle. Literally, the only way to unlock your Mac is by taking it into an Apple store. So with that out of the way, let's proceed on setting the firmware encryption password. After turning on or restarting a Mac, the firmware encryption password option is found on the OS X utilities window and can be accessed in one of two ways, directly by pressing and holding down the command and R keys or via the recovery HD by pressing and holding down the option key. Now from the OS X Utilities menu bar, click Utilities then select Firmware Password Utility. Now click on the Turn on Firmware Password button. Enter and verify a new password. Please note, this password has nothing to do with your Apple ID password or your Mac user password, but a master encrypted password for your Mac. I cannot stress the importance to remember this password as mentioned earlier, so write it down right away and store it away in a safe place. So assuming that you have finished storing the firmware password in a safe place, it's time to put it to the test. After pressing the power button or restarting a Mac, and whenever you hold down either one of the following keyboard key or key combinations, you are asked to enter a firmware encryption password to unlock your Mac. Otherwise just pressing the power button brings you to your normal login screen. And finally, if you want to turn off or change the firmware password, from the OS X Utilities menu bar, select Firmware Password Utility again, and a pop-up window will appear allowing you to do so. And there you have it, your Mac is now locked down. Thanks for watching, and thumbs up if you like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the next episode. Thanks, and peace.